we're going down to Occoquan. Everybody else is left. Everyone else is left. The air conditioner finally got fixed. That's what delayed us getting away until almost noon. Uh, here we are uh, coming into Point Lookout Marina. Uh, the four of the uh, boats are already there. Uh, sea Duck is behind me uh, and we're uh, just rolling in here. Uh, weather's fine. It's about uh, 3.20 in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to fuel up and uh, then discuss uh, plans with, uh, with the other uh, cruise members uh, to see uh, what they want to do in terms of accommodations for the night. Off to the port here is Smith Creek. Uh, that was uh, part of the discussion for uh, for an anchorage tonight. The uh, question is whether we'll anchor tie up at the, at the marina, but uh, it's uh, real idyllic in uh, terms of the view and the, and the, uh, the calmness of the water. That's Sea Duck no! behind us. It's a closer view of Point Lookout Marina. That appears to be morning mist sitting there near the gas dock. Don't see Pat and Ray though. Okay, there's Pat and Ray over there. In front of morning mist. Again, Point Lookout Marina, we just fueled up and had a meeting with the other people in the club on the cruise and are now leaving to go up Smith Creek for the night. There's Sea Duck 2 following behind. This is Smith Creek. We're going to anchor up here for the night. There's Pat and Ray in Morning Mist going up to set an anchor. quiet and peaceful up in here. Looking out at the mouth of, um, what is this on St. Mary's? Yeah. No, what is it? It's, uh, All of it Smith Creek? Yeah. Here's the Potomac. We came in. This is Sunday, the second day of our week-long cruise. This is the little area that we anchored in last night. Sea ducks and morning mist and leisurely and Pat and Ray. It's surrounded on pretty much four sides and is protected and is full of jellyfish. And there's the morning mist leaving to go to tides. Everyone's just getting underway. It's about 
9 o'clock. Sea Ducks and Pat and Ray have already left and Richard's pulling anchor on Leisure Lee. Yeah, the jellyfish got in their air conditioner strainers and, and shut it down about 3 in the morning and it shut morning this generator. There's a little spit of beach. The water is almost six, seven feet, almost right up to the beach. This is off of Smith Creek. Uh, here we are on day two of the week-long cruise. Uh, the Eggmores uh, wound up on a shoal uh, coming out of uh, our anchorage. And uh, there is the uh, sea tow assisting them now. Uh, it's probably about uh, uh, three, three and a half feet right where uh, right where a morning mist uh, transom is, uh, and their bow is sitting up about uh, four inches. Um, must have hit a shoal or uh, a gravel pile. Uh, any, anyway, we tried turning, uh, pulling them off. There's. Uh, there's Maxim. This has the making for an article. I feel an article coming. The, uh, it, you can uh, hear Rick talking and and uh, I don't know what he's talking about article or talking about uh, talking about the movie for Holly yes, Acres. This is really frustrating for the people who are in it. Well, anyway. I guarantee you. I, I can understand that. What is the towboat gentleman saying at this point? On these week longs. Uh, he's not sure he can get it off. You take the good with the bad. Uh, obviously, this is a misfortune we can do without. Uh, here we are at uh, at Windmill Point uh, entrance. Uh, there's Windmill Point there in the distance. Uh, the Serenis have uh, been cruising with us. Uh, we're now waiting for Ned Road, so you can see in the distance coming up, and uh, Saint and Center coming up from the distance. Right, we're now at uh, the Tides Lodge on the Rappahannock, uh, just north of Highway 3, and we're all docked. And uh, this is the uh, Occoquan Yacht Club. Here we have the Sea Duck 2. And there goes Pat Steele onto the boat. And we'll just walk down the dock and uh, show everybody what we have here at uh, the Tides Lodge on the Rappahannock. And uh, looks like, uh, yep, yeah, it's Ned. Here's a good boat. Yeah, here's a good, here's, here's, uh-huh. 1987 Cruisers, Inc., built in yeah. Wisconsin. Very good boat for the bay. <laughs> Twin yeah. 350s, 270 Crusaders. Here we have uh, another example, the Occoquan Yacht Club's finest. Moving on down. Excuse me, Ned. Moving on down, we have Saint and Sinners, uh, and here comes here comes Steve. Steve's coming out of the cockpit, and uh, Steve, yes, smile, sir, smile. Thank you, Steve. It's been a wonderful trip so far. Yeah, it's been a wonderful trip here at the at the Rappahannock. And Teresa Sorrente has been wonderful. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, now we have we have leisurely. This is leisurely, and. Uh, Smile, Rich, and Bronwyn. Here we have them, and a uh, little close-up shot here. Stand in front of that Occoquan Yacht Club. There we have it. Yes, the Occoquan Yacht Club finest banner. Uh huh. And oh, Bronwyn. Yes. Smile, Bronwyn. Thank you very much. All right. And we'll. Uh, and we have the leisurely. Okay. Stop. Captain of the Morning Mist. Pan over to the Morning Mist. Pan, pan, we'll pan over to the Morning Mist. Right here. The Morning Mist. Beautiful. 41 foot, right? 42. 42 foot Chris Craft. Yep. And there she is. 
Now we'll continue our little tour of the Tides Lodge. Yeah, and we have down here, we have two more of the 32-foot Maxims that have come in for the weekend here. This is uh, looking out from the Tides Lodge over to the Tides Inn, just to give you a little preview of the kind of waters we have that are very nearby and uh, very easy to navigate. This area here is off of the Rappahannock here coming into the Tides Lodge. Again, some of the area around Tides Lodge here we have a 60 foot Hatteras permanently moored here. Looking around, we have some of the grounds around the lodge. Here's the uh, local local pub and dock master's office here. And here we have uh, another 32 foot magic, uh, 32 foot maxim. I believe this one is the uh, name of this boat is Magic Moment from uh, Naples. And this weekend we've got three 32s here. And we'll just pause this, and this pretty much represents uh, the Tides Lodge. And from here we'll be heading out, and we'll start this tape back up in the morning. The last uh, Maxim, 32 here. I believe these folks are out of uh, Delaware. I think that pretty much does it for this. Uh, we said we weren't going to record anything or we'll start this up tomorrow morning, but here we are at the Lodge, Tides Lodge still. You notice on the horizon there we have the makings of a tornado. Right now it appears to be just a funnel cloud. You can see the vertical motion in it. But this is uh, one of the luxuries of being around the water in Virginia. So. Uh, if anything else happens, we'll see if we can record it, but right now it appears to be uh, dissipating a little bit. And uh, we will be uh, starting again in the morning as we leave the Tides Lodge to continue our week-long cruise down the uh, Chesapeake. Okay, it's uh, Tuesday morning and we're pulling out of uh, Tides Lodge and here we have uh, Saint and Center. Uh, the Ziegler's. We'll be heading on down at, uh, heading on down the uh, Chesapeake towards Salt Pines. And here we have Southern Knights coming out. Beautiful stay here. All right, now this is looking back at the Tides Lodge as we're uh, cruising out the creek. Still waiting on Satan Centers to come out. And, uh, beautiful location, gorgeous location. Beautiful boats. And we'll uh, continue up the river here in a few minutes and uh, show you what's going on. Here we have uh, Leisurely in front of Sea Duck 2. And, uh, and oh, by the way, in case you haven't heard, Sea Duck 2 is a 32 foot maxim. Looking out uh, up the river here. Have the uh, this is a tides in. This is the uh, stern of Miss Anne, which is a 120 foot former U.S. Navy sonar research vessel that was uh, reconditioned and has been put back in service, owned by the tides in, which you'll see up here on the hill. Hey, here we are, still coming out from Tides Lodge. Carter Creek. 
and you can see some of the beautiful locations around that are just a couple hours away from the Occoquan River. in the uh, middle of the Chesapeake. This is uh, Wolf Trap Lighthouse. And uh, we're kind of uh, pulling up here waiting on everybody to come through. Over here on our port side we have uh, Southern Knights that has uh, been taking some still photos of all of us as we come by the marker and you'll see uh, coming up behind uh, some of the nights is uh, morning mist and then uh, and then Saint Center should be coming by also but uh, as you can see it's it's a beautiful day, nice and calm. Water's almost like glass out here. Got a few, uh, few cumulus clouds off in the distance there, but uh, the water is gorgeous. Beautiful cruise thus far. And uh, see if we can get a better shot now of uh, of morning mist as they come by. If you remember, that's the uh, 42 foot Chris. And uh, here we have the coming through. Beautiful. Tell them the wave on the uh, VHF, Teresa. Turned it off. Okay. All right. We'll uh, let them go on out. And uh, I'll turn on out and we'll just put everything on hold here at, uh, at the Wolf Trap. And we'll be uh, coming back to you in, in a short little bit after we get a little bit further down to Chesapeake. Yeah, uh, finally have, uh, this is Pat and Ray coming by. I told you we would uh, hold off for a little bit, but uh, they finally uh, showed up here at the uh, Wolf Trap. And uh, we'll let them swing on by. And now we have, uh, should have St. Sinners coming down the river. Yep, there's St. Sinners. And a little bit of rock in here, so you'll have to excuse the the motion. Oh, let me see, that's Southern Knights with the camera. And here comes St. and Sinners. Now we're approximately out here at Wolf Trap. We're about, uh, I'd say we're probably, uh, well, probably four miles off the coast, three miles off the coast. St. Sinners. I got a little bit so you can see the. And... Little pause at this point. Okay. Uh, well, I keep saying we're gonna move on down the river, but uh, we got a slight delay here as um, Southern Knights and 
leisurely come by and everybody decided we want to get everyone on film which we and that's not a problem that's what this is all about so uh, uh, we're gonna get the two guys get uh, southern knights first as they as they come by and uh, pan around here a little bit see if I can pick up southern knights Should have, and there comes Southern Knights. We'll zoom in here. Looking good. And I hope nobody gets seasick as we watch this movie at home. But uh, as the boats come by, we got some a couple of three-foot wakes that we have to deal with. So uh, again, please excuse the the rocky motions here. Ooh, boy, we are rocking now. Here's Southern Nights, looking good. See if we can pick up leisurely now. Okay. Should have leisurely coming through. And there they are, right off on the corner. Alright. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Man, he's going full throttle. Whoa, there he goes. Alright. Now we can move on down the river. So that's everybody. We'll pause at this point. Okay, we're now at uh, Salt Pond. Just uh, finished docking. And we're, a uh, little orientation here, we're uh, just right outside Hampton Roads, Virginia. Uh, around the Langley Air Force Base area. And uh, once again, and excellent uh, example of uh, the kind of waters we have around this area and uh, we'll just kind of walk down the down the dock here and uh, go from there Southern Knights here, gassing up, and then uh, in front of them, I think these look like the uh, Ziegler kids coming up the dock, and then up at the front of the gas dock we have uh, Leisurely. And here's our we usually uh, have them from South Commodore this way. getting uh, no, not really. Why don't you guys go directions ahead on the and best take place this right here. Oh, not a problem. Ray, uh, did you get the right slip now? This is wonderful. G1, the best slip in the place. G1. Okay, that is probably sir. That is probably the cheapest slip. Also, <laughs> you know that, don't you? Okay, Rich. Uh, Mr. Ziegler. Mr. Ziegler doesn't want to speak to us this afternoon. But uh, coming into the salt ponds, we ran into a little small thunderstorm, a little bit of rain for about five or ten minutes, and then that was it, and we came on in here. It's a little bit more of the uh, area around the salt ponds. You'll see, they got some beautiful homes here.
<laughs> Here we are all docked. We'll be here one night. One night at Salt Pines and then we'll be moving on down to uh, Rudy and Lake. Yeah. Here we have the uh, Leisure Lee and we're walking the boats in. We do have power. What we'll do is we'll walk around and watch uh, Captain Eggmore try to bring his in. I guess we need a winch, huh? Okay. He'll do it. Gotta have it. No, I'm good. I'm gonna back it out here. Captain Eggmore, outstanding. The gentleman at work. Look at here. Beautiful job, beautiful job. This is Thursday morning. Not start Wednesday morning, sorry. Haven't been awake too long. And we're all leaving to head into the ocean, into Rudy Inlet at Virginia Beach today. There's Southern Knight. He's just leaving. And this is part of Salt Pond. Nice place with lots of mosquitoes and biting flies. And here we have Saint and Center leaving their slip. As you can see, the weather is quite overcast and dreary. Hopefully, it will clear up. Leaving the fuel dock, we have Sea Duck. Pat and Ray and Morning Mist got an early start this morning. So we're going to be heading south into the ocean. The entrance to Salt Ponds, it's a narrow channel with a jetty on both sides. Down from the jetty, we have some fairly decent looking houses right on the bay. And as you can see, it is extremely foggy. We just crossed under the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and, and over the tunnel, and, and this is one of the big ships going by in the shipping lanes. There goes Sea Duck. Saint Center. Goes Saint Center. It's anchored off the shipping lanes over there. Another ship that's at anchor off the shipping lanes. Here comes uh, Southern Knights rolling over the wake of that ship. Rudy Inlet, we've just come in, St. Center, Southern Knights, and Sea Duck 2 are going to be coming in shortly. Pat and Ray and Morning Mist are already here. St. Center, St. Center, Southern Knights, Whiskey from Tango 3 and 4 6. the 
lighthouse restaurant. You looking left up the channel after you're in the inlet. This is the view looking right up the channel where we will be going shortly. This is inside Rudy Inlet. You can see the buildings on the beach and the boats. There's the bridge. That Ray says that's a bungee jumping arch there. And over here we have the uh, waterfront condominiums that Kristen says she wants to live in when she grows up. just got in there, slept. They left, lost a port engine out in the ocean, but apparently got it restarted coming in. So they're in and tied up. Okay, we're now at uh, Rudy's Inlet. And uh, you notice that uh, we're docked at a permanent slip. Quite a lot of large fishing boats around here. Some uh, nice restaurant. This is Rockefellers over here that we're looking at now. And uh, coming around, some of the more quaint shrimpers. And uh, we'll walk on, uh, walk on down the down the pier here and uh, see what's going on with the different boats. Here's the. Uh, this is where we're staying. Rudy's on the inlet. And uh, got a nice restaurant here. We're gonna probably be checking it out in the next couple of days. But looks like a really nice, uh, nice, nice location. It's gonna, gonna wash the boat. Everything set. Tides out. Yeah, it tides out. And uh, speak to us. Hello, this is our seventh day. Seventh day? No, it can't be our I seventh lost day. Count. We've lost count. count. We're having so much fun. Day. Hey, a little little engine problem on Southern Nights here. We uh, lost the lost the port engine coming in, and uh, here's a good shot of good shot of Ned down there uh, working on it. Ned, would you like to say something of of, of kind words? I don't think so. Some of the uh, surrounding area, looking off of Rudy's, out to the inlet itself noticed up there, the uh, arch up there, that's a bungee, bungee jumping. I'm not sure anybody in this yacht club is going to try it, but uh, we might get a couple of brave souls to, to give that a go. I'm just looking around the end a little bit. A lot of apartments and condos here around the waterfront. Okay, and here we are back at Rudy's Inlet. We got our Commodore and his spouse trying to get on a jet ski uh, late in the afternoon. Uh, doesn't appear to be going very well for him. But uh, let me put this on. We'll, we'll stop this right here and see if we can get a little bit. There we go. There she goes back off the side. Hope they do boating a lot better than they do jet skis. And uh, let me see if I can get a little closer to watch this. Hold on just a little bit. There it goes, Pat, up on the rear. Trying to get on that thing. Uh-oh, it's not working. 
Oh, there we go. We just fell over again. All right. That's our Commodore. And there goes one jet ski. My God, I'm glad they do this instead of, I'm glad they tested this out. Gee. Okay, we've got another jet skier coming out. Maybe going to help them a little bit. Okay, getting back on. Paul's right here, and I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. And they're off. Watching these fools fall off this jet ski about four times already. Hope they drive it better than they do boats. This would help. See, doggies! Woo! Can you turn it over again for us? Don't you let the Commodore see this now. I got it on tape, buddy. Eskimo roll. Well, I tell you, she's holding on. How to run that thing now? Well, maybe they'll be back in a couple hours, either with or without the ski, the jet ski. There's Pat and Ray embarking on our return trip through the ocean and up the bay in 15 to 20 knot winds today, which should be very exciting. Morning mist left, I think, about 7 or shot of what appears to be a new area of Rudy Inlet that's been dredged and cleared out. This is Fisherman's Wharf Marina where the crew of the Leisure Lee stayed when we were last down here at Virginia Beach in Rudy Inlet. Um, they don't seem to want transients this year. They're very expensive condominiums and half million dollar boats in most of the slips. Here's the Sea Duck 2 leaving Rudy Inlet. We couldn't pass up another opportunity to get the Serenis 32 Maxim on the tape. The beach south of Rudy Inlet.
Here we are at uh, the Narrows Marina on Gwen Island. Uh, we got in about noon and and fueled up, and uh, now we're getting a, a nifty thunderstorm that uh, uh, would definitely uh, put anything that's still out on the bay in jeopardy. This is looking uh, towards the north northeast. The swimming pool is over in this area behind the wall. You can't really see it, but it's a nice pool, nice deck. Uh, coming around here, it's real flat, sandy, and uh, then you're looking out uh, uh, towards the north now, and uh, coming around, the storm has just really pounded the area. Uh, fortunately, we're in safe harbor. You're, you're seeing lightning now, intense winds, uh, dramatic cooling, uh, 5, 10 degrees almost immediately, and uh, this is part of boating. Uh, we're all in here, so it's uh, so it's no problem at all. Um, water's kicking around um, in here. Everybody's tied up securely. And, uh, thunder's roaring. This is uh, other than the tornado uh, that was forming at Tides Lodge. This is probably the most intense storm that we've seen this week. Uh, yesterday we had a. Uh, dry storm, all wind and dark clouds and no rain down in Virginia Beach, so we had two days without rain, I guess part of the, uh, the coastal blessing. Um, came up the bay today, uh, winds were 15 to 20, uh, they were off, uh, uh, they were basically trailing seas uh, slightly to port, uh, still it uh, was a bit challenging at, at uh, times, but everybody got in uh, like uh, like true sailors. Uh, nobody had any problems, and uh, we all got in about the same time, except for uh, morning mist that uh, that left about 7:30 uh, or so, and got in about an hour before everybody else. Um, okay, here we are at the Narrows Marina. We were. Uh moved this afternoon, Saturday afternoon, because another yacht club with 14 people came in. And, uh, a line of fire here. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. And here's the Islander restaurant. And behind that building is the swimming pool. Here's the hotel. Yeah. And playgrounds beyond. And here's part of the crew relaxing after the move and bouncing around all night in front that came in. Here's our fearless, normally our fearless leader. And his pleasant wife. I'll make that thing into a proctoscope. Put it where the sun do Then turn it on. It's been there. Yeah, go ahead and get the transom. Here's Sea Duck's transom. See the, the mighty Maxim. See that, Teresa? Come out here quickly. Oh, okay. Rich is taking a picture of the transom. If they haven't noticed, this is the 32 Maxim. <laughs> Look at that mighty bow. <laughs> the mighty bow. activity on Saturday. Okay, here we are at the uh, final night of our cruise, and we'll walk around a little bit and show everybody some of the outstanding cocktails and snacks. Uh, They're right, Ned. Sorry, Ray. Uh huh. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Okay. Cocktails and drinks. Let me see. We have uh, complimentary champagne. We have Oak Ridge. We have uh huh. Uh, Roger. Complimentary champagne. Jay Roger. 
from Lester. Uh -huh. From Lester, who is the dock master here. Lester's Yay, Lester. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we had to uh, accommodate uh, another yacht club who came in. And uh, you're blocking this. Yes. What am I doing? And hold on just a second. We'll pause right here. Hey. Okay. Hey, Mom. There, that's the whole crowd. Uh huh. And I told, I told, uh, we told Tom Eggmore that we'd get a close up of his boat. Okay, there's the morning mist. Okay. And the Aquan Yacht Club. This has been a wonderful week. Hope everybody that's watching this film will will enjoy this. Probably a third amount of what we have. Okay, it's uh, Sunday morning, 7th of August, and uh, everybody's fixing to head on back to the Aquan, and this is... Uh, the only day that we've been able to get morning mist leaving. So uh, we also have Southern Nights. Southern Nights firing up, ready to head on back up the river. Side of morning mist. Four, four water. Cap Captain Eggmore hopefully will be able to speak to us today as he fires up this. It's everything ready here. Tom, turn around and speak to us. This is the only time we've been able to see you leave. There you go. All right. So we don't know how far we're going to go back today. It'll be just play it by ear. If we get all the way, we will. If you feel like stopping, we'll stop. But uh, this is the helm of the morning mist, laid out very nicely, and we can see the entire, entire marina from up here. There's Sea Duck over there, and looking out, Captain Ned here, getting everything untied. We have his lovely first mate. First mate, there she is. Yes, yes. Right, they're ready to go. So we'll pause at this point. This is Southern Nights heading on out. That is some expert line handling here. Good smile. It has been the only opportunity we've had to get morning mist leaving. It's always, uh, they're always out, not so early. So uh, here we have morning mist heading out, heading home. This is the, uh, again, the last day of the cruise. the narrows. This is a view leaving um what's this the narrows marina. There's the nice, nice rotating bridge. 
that everyone walked across yesterday. There's Here. the marina. Here's where we stayed at first. And the restaurant. And the slips that we stayed in the first night. Serenity's 32 foot maximum, ending the week long, 94. 